Can nature build our future? It sounds wild, but it's a question we need to ask. Our cities are built from concrete and steel, materials that feel permanent, but come with a heavy environmental cost. What if the solutions for a healthier, more sustainable world are all around us in forests, oceans, and underground? Climate change is real, and the way we build is a huge part of the problem. Concrete and steel production pumps out massive carbon emissions. But nature has been perfecting its designs for billions of years. Right now, scientists and architects are teaming up to learn from nature's playbook. They're creating materials that are strong, light, and good for the planet. Some can even heal themselves or pull carbon from the air. This movement is called biomimicry, copying nature's best ideas. We're asking, how can we build like a tree, or a mushroom, or a seashell? Nature already has the blueprints, we just need to learn how to read them. This is about discovering materials that could shape a better world for future generations. It's a revolution in how we think about shelter and our place on Earth. Let's explore how nature can help us build a future that works with, not against, the planet. Let's get into it. So, what are bio-inspired materials? Simply put, they're building materials grown from living organisms or designed to mimic natural processes. Instead of mining and melting, we're growing our building blocks using fungi, bamboo, algae, and timber in new ways. These materials are engineered for strength and efficiency, but their core comes from nature. They're part of a circular economy renewable, reusable, and compostable at the end of their life. Imagine a wall that could be composted after 50 years. This isn't about mud huts, it's high-tech science meeting ancient wisdom. We're making bamboo as strong as steel, and mycelium that insulates better than traditional materials. The goal? Sustainability homes that are good for us and the planet. Bio-inspired materials turn our buildings from environmental problems into solutions. Let's look at some biomaterial superstars. Mycelium, the root network of fungi, can be grown into solid blocks using agricultural waste. It's strong, lightweight, and a great insulator. Bamboo, known as green steel, grows incredibly fast and has a tensile strength comparable to steel. Laminated bamboo beams are now used in multi-story buildings. Algae, often overlooked, grows quickly and absorbs carbon dioxide. It's being turned into insulation panels that are non-toxic, fire-resistant, and energy-efficient. Some buildings even use algae in transparent panels to generate energy and clean the air. These examples show the potential when we cultivate rather than manufacture our building materials. We're literally growing our future cities, one mycelium brick, bamboo beam, and algae panel at a time. The technology is about guiding natural growth to create what we need. It's a new way of thinking about construction. From underground fungi to fast-growing grass and aquatic plants, nature's solutions are everywhere. The future of building is less about factories, more about farms and labs. We're just beginning to unlock what's possible. Nature is our best engineer. Why go to all this trouble? The benefits are huge. Biomaterials like mycelium and bamboo are carbon sinks. They absorb and lock away carbon unlike concrete, which emits it. Homes built with these materials can have up to 75% lower carbon footprints. They're healthier too. Mycelium and algae insulate well, regulate humidity, and improve air quality. Lower energy bills and better indoor environments are real perks. This shift also creates new jobs. Farming bamboo, cultivating mycelium, processing algae. Real-world projects are proving it works. Eco towers in New York, bamboo community centers in Shanghai. These aren't just experiments. They're award-winning, practical, and beautiful. Bio-inspired construction is ready for the big time. It's making a real difference. If these materials are so great, why aren't we using them everywhere? Cost and scale are big hurdles. Biomaterials are still more expensive than concrete, and industries are young. Durability and regulations are concerns. We need more data and updated building codes. Supply chains aren't fully developed. You can't just buy mycelium bricks at the hardware store yet. Local production is key to keeping the carbon footprint low. There's also a knowledge gap. Builders are trained for steel and concrete, not living materials. We need investment, research, and education to bring these materials mainstream. Overcoming these challenges will take effort from governments, industry, and the public. But none of these hurdles are impossible. The path to a bio-inspired future is open if we choose to walk it. The future for bio-inspired materials is bright. By 2040, they could make up over 30% of global construction. A monumental shift. Imagine cities that function like forests, resilient, diverse, and regenerative. But as we scale up, we must ensure true sustainability. No replacing native forests with monocultures. Responsible management is crucial. 
We need harmony with nature, not exploitation. You don't have to be a scientist to help. Your choices and voice matter. Share what you learn, support sustainable companies, and ask about green options when building or renovating. Every choice adds up. The dream homes that are good for the planet become the norm. Nature is our ultimate teacher. We have the ideas and technology. Let's build a healthier, more hopeful future together.